Listen, there's one dude that I'm absolutely positive that can do this Chris Helmsworth challenge, and that is none other than our very own health and fitness guru, Mr. Joey Thurman. He's the author of the book, 365 Health and Fitness Hacks. He joins us now from Chicago to let us in since it's back to school, five things we need to know and make sure that our kids are ready to do for the school year so that they stay healthy. Joey, good morning. How are you, man? I'm, I'm good, man. I, I don't know if I could do that. And nobody should do burpees. I'm sorry, Chris. That's just a useless thing. Okay, oh, really? And, and why is it? Why aren't bur burpees effective? Gee, after you two or three, especially with weights, your form goes to crap. You're going to hurt your back. And they're just useless. Like, just do push ups or curls. Okay. Like, I get it. You're Chris Hemsworth. You can make, you can make it viral from doing oh. that. No, but stop doing burpees. Okay. They're terrible. I, and the they're only true. advice I'm going to listen is don't do uh, or don't work out, is what I heard you say. And, and I'm going to look like you. <laughs> yeah, or Chris Helms. That's what I said. All saying. right. But there is some things that we have to do in order to get our kids ready for school. We have to do all the clothes shopping, the supplies, some haircuts. But sometimes we actually neglect the most vital part of going back to school, and that is nutrition. And Joey is going to tell us some five tips that we need to do to make sure that our kids are actually going to be healthy going back to school. All right, what's our first tip? Uh, you know, Mitch, these are great for adults as well. So adults, listen there. These are not just for children. Water. We all need to be drinking water. I know we think, oh, this is water, boring, boring water. Why do we need to yeah. have that? Well, it makes sure that we're hydrated. Every cell in our body needs proper hydration. It's good for brain function, immune function. It, it helps with elimination. And we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but we need to have water. So if kids don't like water, I'm, my four-year-old only drinks water exclusively. So he's a little bit of a freak. I get it, <laughs> but you know, add some lemon or lime to it, add some, you know, uh, maybe some electrolyte, something with a little bit of flavor to it. So they're actually getting that healthy hydration, give them a big water bottle or one to two bottles while they're going to school and make sure they drink those at least during the day. You should have about Half of your body weight in ounces wow. of water. Okay, you know, and, and let them pick out their water bottle. They're more than likely to be using it. Your next one is give your kids probi probiotic foods. What does that entail? Yeah, probiotic foods. I mean, that could be yogurt. It could be kefir. I mean, most kids are not going to like kimchi, but you know, <laughs> try it. Probiotic foods help feed your immune system. 80% of our immune system lies in our guts. So we need that healthy, good gut bacteria. And bad bacteria feeds off of sugars and highly processed foods. So we need to stay away from that. So by having probiotic foods, or maybe even if you talk to your doctor, having a little bit of probiotics as well can help feed that immune system, helps the brain, helps nutrient absorption, all sorts of different things. 80% of, of our body's immune system, like I said, is in the gut, and it's incredibly, incredibly important. That's why they say think with the gut. Well, it's yeah. kind of like our second brain. Okay. Now, also, uh, your next tip is about fish oils or eating more fish. What does that do for our kids' brains? Yeah, if fish, uh, omega-3s, EPA, DHA, this is great for eye health, for brain health, for thinking, which is, I don't know, the last time I checked, it's important <laughs> when you're doing that in school. So have fish one to two times a week, or if you can't do that, have a fish oil supplement. If you're, if you're vegan, uh, go ahead and have some avocados, some chia seeds, nuts, seeds, things like that. Now, vegan, you're not going to convert enough um, you know, into EPA, EPA and DHA. But you still need to be having those healthy fats. So don't say, hey, hey Joey said, don't you know, have healthy right. fats if I'm vegan. Go ahead and have those. They're just not converted as well. They're still very helpful for you. Uh, not to mention the other positive benefits for avocados and chias and okay. things like that, which you know, includes stuff like fiber. All right. Fiber. Tell, that's what your next t uh, tip is. What does fiber do for child children? Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's not my first time on TV. <laughs> hey, yeah, fi fi fiber is great. Like we, we, Everybody needs to poop. Let's just say it. Let's talk yep. about poop. Uh, you know, you need to poop at least once a day. If you're not pooping once a day, one or two times a day, that's probably not a good thing. That means you're constipated. So having that fiber also helps feed those probiotics and the good bacteria. So probiotics and fiber are directly correlated. There was even a study that looked at probiotics and fiber at the same time, and that's better for your gut, okay. for your immune system. It's, it helps absorb nutrients, helps you produce vitamins. We, we, all, we are what we absorb not just what we eat. Okay, and uh, believe it or not, I'm, I'm pooping right now. I mean, that's how important it is. Oh, good Thank job. You. Uh, uh, I'm excited. Finally, make sure they get enough sleep. Getting back to school is a big one. Quickly tell us how we can, what that does for a child. Huge. You need to make sure you sleep because you know, it helps your brain, helps you recover. Children 6 to 13 need about 9 to 11 hours of sleep per night. 
Um, there's even research that says it, it's limiting um, Alzheimer's and dementia. Wow. So, you know, not just children, but us as well. So we need to sleep for recovery. That's the most important thing you can do overall for your health. So bring the lights down. Don't watch, you know, a scary movie right before bed. Yeah. You know, maybe do some essential oils or have some chamomile tea, something like that. Your kids can have tea, too. It's okay. They drink soda. They, they shouldn't. <laughs> you can get some tea as well. Joey, thank you so much. Your book is called uh, 365 Health and Fitness Hacks That Can Save Your Life. More details will be on our website as well. And, of course, you can catch out Joey's Flash Fitness. It's happening. It's on our website as well. Always love having you on, my man. And uh, I'll, next time I'm, I'm in the bathroom, I'll, I'll remember what you told me. And I'll make sure I have you know, plenty of fiber. When you're wiping, you'll think about me. <laughs> think about that. you. That's disgusting. We'll have more after this.